name is Dan and I play in a band called Architects. I started playing drums when I was like 13 years old, so that's 14 years, years ago now, which is, which is depressing. I started playing drums because a friend uh, asked me when I was in a maths class, uh, when I was like yeah, 13 years old or something, uh, if uh, I wanted to share lessons with him. Like, he was just sort of asking my whole group of friends if anyone wanted to do it because it made the lessons cheaper. And I sort of thought, yeah, I'll ask my parents if they'd let me do that. And they said, yeah. So I, I had never thought about playing drums. Uh, I'd never, never had any aspirations to be a drummer. Uh, I played trumpet. I sucked at it. It's also not the coolest instrument. Um, no offense to trumpeteers out there. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just, I, I sort of uh, took to it pretty well. My friend quit after two weeks, and I carried on. And, and uh, somehow it's uh, sort of evolved into my job, which was just very, very strange and bizarre, and w was never part of the plan. But here I am. HJC is a company that's grown a lot uh, over the years, you know. And I, you know, being a drummer, you're sort of always aware of uh, new companies that uh, are starting. Obviously, SJC is a very well-established company now, but I remember sort of seeing the name here and there and, and sort of various uh, US bands at first, I really noticed uh, using them. Uh, and I had a bunch of friends uh, use them, uh, Matt Nichols from Bring the Horizon and then, um, well, well, I did Warp Tour last year and it was practically like the, the SJC tour. I mean, it was like, who, who doesn't use SJC on this tour? You know, everyone was. So um, yeah, they just gradually sort of, it just, I heard so much good stuff and, and then like, uh, one of the guys in SJC approached me and I thought, well, this is just like a no-brainer, you know, so I made, uh, I made the switch. The, pe the people that work at SJC uh, understand what a, what a drummer wants, especially like a touring drummer as well, and I, I love that sort of youthful almost approach, you know. It's like, it's not a company run by, by suits, you know, it's run by like musicians and, and and I think they have like a very like forward-thinking way of, of working, you know, and, and that was something that really, really sort of drew me to the company as well, you know, because everyone that works there has is, is always been fantastic and extremely supportive um, and like made things happen on very, very short uh, periods of time, you know, when I, I make ridiculous demands, like build me this fucking drum kit in a week, they do it, no, I'm kidding, but they have done stuff very, very fast, it's been great. So yeah, they've been fantastic, and, and you know they hold up great on the road. I, like everyone, everyone loves them. Our, our sound guy loves them. Um, so yeah, I mean I can't really speak highly enough about them. They've they've been fantastic. In terms of uh, drumming inspiration, I mean like obviously they they've changed over the years. When when I was sort of a young drummer, obviously I gravitated obviously towards the bands that I listened to at the time, so um, Abe Cunningham from Deftones, who I still I still listen to a lot and, and still love, who was a big influence on me. Um, do you know what, I still listen to all of them actually thinking about it, Danny Carey from Tool, I love those guys kind of taught me odd time signatures and uh, I spent a lot of time just printing off tabs and like playing through songs off Lateralis, that was sort of like a big part of my drumming education, bizarrely. And um, the Chris Penny, uh, who used to play in Dimmage Escape Plan, uh, and then he played in Coheed and Cambria for a while. But um, yeah, he's a big inspiration to me as well, and in terms of his like uh, his approach, I guess, you know, uh, sort of more, more focused on technique and, and sort of application of rudiments, I suppose, and um, yeah, I, I was sort of always amazed by, yeah, I still am amazed by his drumming, so yeah, those three I, I would probably put as my three, three drummers that really like uh, inspired me from the beginning and the three drummers that I still really, really love and respect. 
Well, with drums, is like there's almost infinite possibilities in a sense um, because you can just change things up sort of any which way. You know, like I could take something very very simple and and change it very slightly, and I, and I I'd have to work on it. You know, it, it, very simple concepts can be made very very difficult very easily. So there's never any excuse to say you know. I'm out of ideas, I'm out of inspiration because, you know, there's, there's always so much to work on. So you, you can get away with a lot these days and, and, and there, is a, a, there is a portion of drummers which I feel like probably are a little bit slack, but actually the general standard of drummers now, I found over the last few years, it's just like every, every tour I do, there's, there's like amazing drummers on every tour. I swear I used to do tours and, I, and the, the, like everyone was rubbish, but now it's like more than ever, there's just a general really high standard of drumming. So you, you, you gotta work hard and, and you know, find inspiration, um, which, which like, you know, there's, there's no shortage of now with, with YouTube and there's so much to learn, you know. I mean, watching this video, is, you, you're gonna learn so much from me. <laughs> um, but seriously, there, there, there is there is so much stuff out there to learn, and just like I would say, always like try and push yourself and try and find find new ways of, of approaching the instrument. And uh, yeah, don't don't rest on your laurels because I've definitely done that in the past where I've sort of been like, okay, I'm good enough now. Let's just go on tour and whatever. And you know, and then I had a little sort of lull there where I was like, well, wow, there's a lot of drums that are they're better than me now. <laughs> um, so yeah, just keep always work hard and, and like like aim high and be ambitious. Oh, oh,